welcome to Children's Sunday Gospel Reflection. I'm glad you're able to join me today. Remember, whenever we hear the Word of God from the Bible, we listen with our hearts and with our minds. And we want to be able to know what God's message is for us in the Gospel story. So the man in today's Gospel is described as having a very bad skin disease called leprosy. During the time when Jesus lived on the earth, leprosy was a dreaded disease. When someone had leprosy, they were covered with sores all over their bodies, and the sores didn't go away. It was a hopeless disease because there was no cure. To make matters worse, worse, not only did this person suffer from this disease, but other people considered anybody with leprosy to be highly contagious, and so they were not allowed to touch them. So here's this leper. He's got all these sores. He's suffering, and nobody can touch him. And lepers were banned from living with everybody else, so they had to live outside of their community. They were outcast from their family and from society. So let's listen very carefully to what the man with leprosy and Jesus say to one another in the gospel story. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. May God's word be on my mind and on my lips and in my heart. A man with leprosy came to Jesus and kneeled down. He begged, you have the power to make me well, if only you wanted to. Jesus felt sorry for the man, so he put his hand on him and said, I want to. Now you are well. At once the man's leprosy disappeared and he was well. After Jesus strictly warned the man, he sent him on his way. Jesus said, don't tell anyone about this. Just go and show the priest that you are well. Then take a gift to the temple as Moses commanded, and everyone will know that you have been healed. The man talked about it so much and told so many people that Jesus could no longer go openly into a town. He had to stay away from the towns, but people still came to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So let's talk about this story. What did the man say to Jesus? Yes, he said, you have the power to make me well if only you wanted to. The man begged Jesus to cure him because he knew no one else could do that. He also knew that Jesus could choose whether to do it or not because he says, you have the power to make me well if only you wanted to. What did Jesus answer the man and what did he do? What did Jesus do? Right. Jesus put his hand on him and he said, I want to. Now you are well. So even though all the other people thought Jesus shouldn't even get near this man because it might be dangerous, Jesus responded immediately to the man's cry for help, for him begging. And Jesus said, I want to. 
He had the power to heal the man, and he did. I want you to think about something. Think about this quietly. And then, after you've taken some time to think about it, share your answers with your family. If you had the power to help anyone in any way, what would you do? Think about that and then share with your family. So we do have the power to help others. We have the power from our belief and our trust in Jesus. And Jesus told us when he left, he said, I will, when he left the earth, he said, I will be with you always. And he also told us that he would send us a helper, the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is with us. The Holy Spirit gives us power to help others. And our prayers to Jesus will help us to have the courage to help others. We all have the power to be helpful, to be kind, to be loving, to be gentle, to be forgiving. All of these things we can do because of help from Jesus and the Holy Spirit. And we can choose whether or not to use our power to help others. God wants us to be like Jesus and choose to act in ways that helps others. What are some choices that we could make to help someone who is sick? Maybe you thought of making a get well card or sending them a get well card in the mail. Or maybe you thought of praying for them, or many other ways. There are lots of ways to help people when they are sick. Sometimes, though, people need our help with healing that maybe isn't physical. Maybe they're not sick physically. Maybe they don't have a cold, or they don't have the flu. There are other ways that people might need healing. For example, when someone is lonely, what can you do to help heal their loneliness? Discuss that. Share that with your family. When someone gets their feelings hurt, what can you do to help heal their fe hurt feelings? Share that with your family. When someone is feeling sad because maybe they lost a pet, what can you do to help heal their sadness? Share with your family. So all of these ways, we can help people when they're physically sick, but we can also help people when they need healing in other ways. So when we choose to use our powers, our power of forgiveness, our power of caring, our power of kindness, our power of forgiveness, when we choose to use those powers to help others, we are healers too, just like Jesus. This week, your challenge is to be a healer by helping three people this week. Three people this week. That is your challenge, to be a healer. Think about people you know. 
during the week as the week goes on? And what do they need from you? What healing power do they need from you? Maybe they're just a little sad and they need a hug from you. So three people this week, your challenge is to be a healer to three people. And I have a suggestion. One of the things to help you remember this challenge, you could get three Band-Aids. You don't have to open the Band-Aids, but you could get three Band-Aids and maybe put the three Band-Aids somewhere where you, where you will see them during the week to remind you, oh, I'm going to be a healer like Jesus. Maybe the Band-Aids could be on your desk or on your prayer table. So this week's challenge, be a healer like Jesus. See you next time. Bye.